just work a little bit on the top of his head over here. Now, you have to be careful on the top of the head where the fall starts. Some of these guys will have a dip right there. And if you start this fall too far forward, you're going to expose that dip on the top of the head. So right now, you can see that this part of his head is nice and tight and short. This is where I had actually started layering his fall because he does have a little bit of a dip there that I don't want to show. So I usually work this and pluck it and I have a ton of nice layers going in there, thick hair going in there. Um, right now all that is gone because I have not been working with him. But it'll, you know, it shows you right where you need to start working this and filling this out with layers so he will have a nice transition between the top of the head and his fall without showing a, uh, a dip in there. Um, right above this bone here, between the top of his head and the cheek, there's a little slant. That needs to go short. Right into the eye, the corner of the eye. So nice, tight top of the head. You don't want any hair poking up from where the ear joins the top of the head. You want that nice and clean because you want to be able to see that fold of the ear on top of the head. So nothing funny poking out there. Now, nice and tight cheeks. But where do we start these cheeks? Let me pull all this off. We're going to start at the corner of the eye and it is not a straight line to the corner of the mouth. If you touch him, you're going to feel there's an arched shape here that is given by a bone and a couple of muscles here. So you can clearly feel it with your fingers. That's your line. So from that line back, you're going to do it nice and tight. From that line forward, we're going to layer to have this shape and we're going to blend. So I'm going to pull this tight. Tight at the corner of the eye. If I need to pull the skin, go ahead and pull the skin. Pull that ear back and clean all that out. Now you see I come in this way and over here on the seam, on top of the seam, I come down this way. This is one of the prettiest parts of a dog when you're hand stripping, when you have that nice and clean transition of the cheek into that neck, it gives me chills when it's pretty and even and tight.